Which laser is popularly used for osseous surgery? The options are diode laser, carbon dioxide laser, ND arc laser, RPM chromium, YSGG laser. This question is about laser which stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. It stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. We should never get confused with this expansion. Laser, it stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So, we had question just based on the expansion of laser. And here we should choose the one which is used for osseous surgeries. To know that, first let's discuss about the classification of lasers. Lasers are classified based on the wavelength into three different types. That is the one which is effective in UV light spectrum and then visible light spectrum and in infrared spectrum. And the wavelength of visible light spectrum is in the range of 400 to 700 nanometer. And if we go beyond 700, it comes under infrared spectrum, less than 400, it is under UV light spectrum. And most of the lasers, they operate at one or more wavelength spectrums. And next classification is based on the active medium used. Lasers can be gas lasers, solid state lasers, semiconductors or dye lasers, etc. This is based on the active medium that is present. And the third classification is based on the application or based on the nature of tissues in which it is used. Based on that, we classify them into soft tissue lasers and hard tissue lasers. And the one which is effective for soft tissue procedures are diode lasers, carbon dioxide lasers and ND arc lasers are good examples of soft tissue lasers. Whereas those that is preferable for heart tissue procedures are the erbium lasers. It includes the erbium YAG lasers, erbium YSGG lasers, etc. And continuing with the classification, based on the operation mode, they can be classified into two types, namely pulsed lasers and continuous mode lasers. It is based on the operation mode. The one which functions in pulsed mode is pulse laser and continuous mode is continuous wave laser. And even based on the delivery system, they are classified as articulated arm and hollow wave guide and the one which employs fiber optic cable. So, this is based on the delivery system. So, these are some of the important classification of lasers that I have listed here based on the wavelength, based on the active medium, based on the application, based on the operation mode and delivery system. Now, getting back to our question. We have to choose the one which is popularly used for osseous surgery. The term osseous denotes the heart tissue that is the bone. So, we have to choose the one which is preferable for heart tissue procedures like osseous surgeries. From the given four options, the first option diode laser, it is preferable for soft tissue procedures only because it is a soft tissue laser. And next is carbon dioxide laser, it is also a soft tissue laser but recently FDA has approved the carbon dioxide laser for heart tissues also. And option 3 says ND arc laser, it is again a soft tissue laser, effective for soft tissue procedures. And then comes erbium chromium YSGG laser, it is a heart tissue laser. And out of the 4 given lasers, the one which is popularly used 
is nothing but the erbium lasers that is erbium chromium ysgg lasers are the one which is popularly used for osseous surgeries that is for the heart tissue procedures to add upon here is a table which is showing the wavelength of different lasers along with the dental applications it's very very important to know the wavelength and some of the important applications of the lasers argon lasers you should remember the wavelength it is at available at 488 nanometer and at 514 nanometer and the function is very very important tooth bleaching and in high intensity curing it is the 488 nanometer that is effective for high intensity curing and apart from that argon lasers are effective in laser tooth whitening and next comes the diode laser so it is effective only for soft tissue procedures it is a soft tissue laser even argon it is a soft tissue laser that is at 514 nanometer it is effective for soft tissue procedures and diode lasers i have mentioned for all the soft tissue procedures and next is nd arc laser it stands for neodymium yttrium aluminum garnet laser and you should remember the wavelength which is 1064 nanometer and again they are effective for soft tissue procedures only so they are soft tissue lasers as mentioned here gingivectomy gingivoplasty and oral medicine uses etc and next comes the erbium laser erbium chromium YSGG the YSGG stands for yttrium scandium gallium garnet laser and you have to note that the erbium lasers are for heart tissues that is they have mentioned here it is for heart tissue cutting both dentin as well as the osseous structures and next is erbium yttrium aluminum garnet that is erbium yag laser you should remember the wavelength that is 2940 and again it is employed for heart tissue cutting specifically in the caries removal and even in etching of the tooth this erbium lasers can be employed and finally carbon dioxide laser it has the highest wavelength 10600 nanometer and it is a soft tissue laser but recently it is also approved for the heart tissue procedures these are some of the important points that you should know especially the wavelength of the lasers and whether it comes under soft tissue laser category or heart tissue laser category and our question is about the one which is used for osseous surgery therefore it is a heart tissue laser the right answer here is erbium chromium ysgg laser that is option 4